Hey students, it's me. Hope you're doing well. I just wanted to put a little video together to kind of check in with you, see how you're doing. Um, kind of address a few little um, hiccups that there have been. Um, so I just want to say I hope you're doing well. I really enjoyed kind of getting a sense of learning about who you are and um, your first assignments are so good. I'm really, really pleased. So I'm um, really happy to see you working so hard. And just a reminder, I'm always here if you need me. Um, you just, you may have uh, gotten a, a message on Friday. We're starting a sociology club, which is really, really exciting. Um, it's going to start off virtual. And then when we're back on campus, we'll meet in person, maybe have virtual options and things like that. Um, so really excited about that. You know, I'd really urge you to join if you like sociology, if you want to learn more about the content, but it's also a great space to build community, um, make friends, and it looks really good on your resume. So I always tell students, you know, make sure you're going above and beyond. And I know you guys are so stretched right now, but sometimes like the, the Zoom thing might work better for some students anyway, and then you can put you were in a sociology club. So that's really exciting. Um, I just also wanted to mention that there were a few issues with downloading the audio lectures. And so I just wanted to spend a few minutes. Um, if you notice after chapter one, I made it in a different program and that's um, a lot of it had to do with making it ADA accessible. And so it gets a little bit more complicated, but um, if you are having problems, um, what I would suggest you do is first um, download the lecture and then you'll actually um, when the lecture, when the PowerPoint comes up, you'll see a little megaphone in the corner and you're gonna click on that megaphone and you should start to hear my voice. Um, it should work on everyone's computer. I think sometimes Max can be a little funky with this. I think that's what's going on. Um, but just keep that in mind. Um, and then this week, what you're gonna be doing, we're gonna be starting on our chapter on socialization, which is chapter four. Um, and socialization is this process of every day we are kind of um, being created, essentially, our life experiences, or our life is um, shaped by our experiences, right? So socialization continues throughout the life process. I'm a very different person today than I was 10 years ago, right? And a lot of that is um, due to the experiences that I've had in the last few years. So for this week, you're going to be um, obviously reading your chapter four lecture, listening to that PowerPoint and lecture. Um, and then we have an assignment called Analyzing Toys. Um, so, you know, some of you may be able to get to the stores. Sometimes it's easier that way. Um, but if you can, it's totally cool if you go online and Google. I um, Everything's on Google now. And in fact, um, so many of us are doing most of our shopping online anymore. So this might be a better way to look at it. And so we're really looking at some of the messages that society sends. And and you might find that, you know, there's stuff outside of toys. And if you want to include that, I'm totally cool with that. So um, oftentimes when I'm watching um, like kid shows with my daughter, I'm picking up some of these Disney shows. Man, they are just really kind of sending a lot of these cultural messages that sometimes I agree with and sometimes I'm like oh my gosh you know but I remember when my daughter was little she was really into PBS you know PBS at Sesame Street and all those Elmo all those fun things right but and I she had the app on her iPad and I went into the app one day and I found there were about 15 different shows for kids like PBS offered and at that time I'm sure it's different this was probably five years ago there were only three shows out of those 15 in which had a female head character and I remember geez PBS is supposed to be really good at this kind of stuff right and again what type of messaging is that sending to people is that sending the message that little girls are you know have a space in this world even and then we see it like as we progress into adults right we still haven't seen a female president um we know that you know congress is disproportionately male ceos are like 97 95 percent male um so these big positions um in leadership um we see that in kind of the larger scale to once we're adults and so we start to realize this socialization i would also say that um you know what's happening with um, a lot of families right now, and you can even see because I hear my little come down, Leona. Oh, never mind. I heard my kid crawling down the stairs, <laughs> but um, I guess she wasn't. But um, 
You know, a lot of times with COVID and things like that, it's women who have had to kind of quit their jobs and focus on the kids. Um, Luckily, I only have one and she's been pretty amazing. Um, But it is, it's an extra kind of um, responsibility that I'm taking on that my husband isn't. And I'm not saying that there aren't men who are taking on that responsibility because I know plenty. But the flip side is, you know, in terms of gender roles and how we're socialized, some of the expectation is that women will take on this role of helping with homeschool and things like that. Um, you know, and it, and that's, you know, kind of set up into the system because women don't make as much money. So when families have to make these financial decisions, it makes sense that the person making the least amount will stay home. Right. And so you kind of see it layered in there. And this is really what we're talking about socialization. So, You know, you're going to be looking at toys, but if there's other aspects of socialization or you see connections to like, um, like things later on in life, please include that. Like the whole point of these is I want you to start really exploring this and and thinking about, you know, how our positionality, um, uh, comes to impact the way we see the world, right? I'm a mother. After I had my kid, I saw the world very differently. In fact, I remember, and I was probably very hormonal, but like the first couple months after I had her, um, I remember um, Sandy Hook happened. And I think it it really impacted me differently um, being a new mom and realizing like these kids were killed. And, um, and not that I wouldn't have been sad, you know, without being a mom, but it was a whole nother kind of level of, um, and with the hormones and everything else, I'm like, Oh, um, but you know, it, it impacts the way we come to see the world. Um, and I think, you know, having a kid is one of the biggest ones that do that for us. So anyways, again, this is just kind of, a um, um, a message to, to say hi and to, to connect, connect with some of you who I, I don't see at office hours. I, I just want to remind you guys, I'm, I'm here in office hours every Thursday or Friday or whatever day you decide to do it, but you're welcome just to stop in and say hi or have a chat or talk to me about how COVID's been or whatever. And of course about the assignment, if you need any help or you want any, um, other resources or things like that, I'm happy to do that for you. So I don't want to take up too, too much of your time, but I just want to, um, just wanted to check in and say, I'm here for you. And, um, it's been really fun so far. And, uh, sign up for the social club if you're interested. So I will leave it at that. Um, have a wonderful weekend or week. Um, I will talk to you soon and see you later. Bye.